Oh boy, do we have ourselves a day today in the stock market, man. Let's dive into it. We're going to break down the indexes in this video. And of course, you guys saw the title. We're going to go over Palantir stock as well, the charts, what I'm looking at here moving forward. So if y'all find value, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. It's free. And I think 45, 50% of you guys watching, you watch the videos, but you're not subscribed. So if that's you, make sure to go do that. And also follow me on X while you're at it at Stas Talk Stock. And with that being said, guys, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So check it out. Right off the bat, we had Palantir stock go up 1.2% on the day, which honestly was not that good considering how much we saw the indexes go up and other stocks as well. But then you could argue Palantir is up a lot, yada, yada, yada. We're not going to argue that in this video, but we did see a huge spike in the morning you guys can see here we got all the way up to twenty dollars and 27 cents and that's very important because well we'll talk about it in a second first you guys can see we ran 2.3 percent pretty much as we got the cpi data which i covered in my first video of today make sure you guys go check that out so we ended up hitting again 2027 which is super important because as we peel the layers back a bit, you guys can see that was above the highs from August. You guessed it. Maybe not. I don't know. But August, we hit 20 bucks, I think. And wasn't it like 25 cents or something like that? I might have to go check my video uh, from yesterday. But we took that out, maybe by a penny or two or a couple of pennies. But we took it out, guys, this morning. And that is a very good sign for the bulls. And we've broken this down before if you guys look on the one year chart let's uh pull back the layers even more this looks pretty bullish does it not i mean sure we are a bit overbought in the short term there's no denying that but we are looking pretty bullish on the one year chart let me show you this uh let's draw it out so we have a higher low here we bottomed out at about 584 back in the beginning of this year right so we hit that first higher low in the beginning of may and ever since the middle end of June, you guys can see we've been, you could argue, you know, sideways trading. I mean, we've been trading horizontally, chopping around between 14 bucks to about 18, 19 bucks. And now we could, you could argue, we could be starting to break out, or this could be the start of the breakout, right? If I draw this out here, you'll be able to see the sideways you know, trading for a good couple of months, which honestly is good. You don't want to see a stock rip all the way up from five bucks to 50 bucks like that. You don't want to see that. That's not healthy uh, for the most part, right? So a lot of the time you see a big leg up, then maybe a whole year of consolidation, maybe a good six, eight months of consolidation, which is what we got here. And this could be now gearing up for, you know, the next leg up. Maybe. I'm not saying for sure it's guaranteed. Obviously, nothing's guaranteed. But you guys can see, I mean, the proof's kind of in the pudding. We're pushing past 20 bucks. We broke the highs from a couple months ago. Now let's see if we could fully extend now and go to 21, 22. That would actually lead me to believe, all right, we're getting ready for a move even higher, right? So we'll see how it goes. Obviously, again, nothing's guaranteed. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to go buy the stock blindly, uh, but we're just breaking it down here the way I'm seeing it. And I keep it to you or I give it to you guys real. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything or be biased in any direction. I'm going to break down the charts and go over what I'm seeing. And that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. Let me know in the comments if you guys disagree. And we've covered in previous Palantir uh, technical videos that the range we were in in 2021 is kind of where we're trying to break into right now. We traded all, uh, all between, you know, all of 2021, we traded between... 1950 to about 20 bucks per share as the the support and the resistance all year was pretty much 28 to 29 bucks that was the higher end we we were topping off at about uh you know 25 26 27 bucks some months so we were in this tight little five six seven dollar window for all that year and then we obviously broke under that point got to wherever we got to four or five bucks and now we're starting to break back out. So I'm thinking Palantir is getting back in that range. You guys can see if I extend this to the right and do this one to the right as well. You guys can see what I'm talking about. Yes, it's not perfect, but bear with me. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, you can see we're getting back in that range. And we're going to be trading maybe potentially 
uh, right here in this window. So that's a quick little thought here on Palantir. What do you guys think? A pretty good day today, even though it wasn't a crazy 5%, 10% green day like we saw in some other stocks. A lot of stocks had those types of days today. Uh, Palantir didn't have that today. But again, like I said in the beginning of the video, you could argue, oh, it's been up a lot the past couple of days, which it has been. Uh, so it makes sense. We didn't do anything crazy today, uh, but we'll see guys. We'll see how it does end up playing out tomorrow. The rest of the week, it's going to be a big week for the stocks overall direction. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell, because we're going to do a lot more technical Palantir updates here on the channel. We're going to break down the charts, news, and of course the overall markets as well. So make sure to subscribe, follow me on X while you're at it as well at stocks, talk stocks. All of that is free by the way. And it helps me out overall in the algorithms. I appreciate you guys as always. There's my dog's hair on my, uh, watch of course guys and it's all over my pants and my <laughs> my shirt you guys know how that goes if you have dogs my dog's right here i love her to death she's taking a little nap i'm petting her right now and she's side-eyeing me guys all right Ibiza, i'm sorry i just want to give you a pet all right <laughs> so all right what's the next stock here or whatever else we're going to talk about so last time i made a video i think the russell was up 4.7 and we actually cracked five percent today and went to almost 5.5% in the green. So talk about a ridiculous gap up in the small caps today. I mean, geez louise, 5.4% move for the Russell. Let me see how some of these ETFs did. So I think IJR is uh, the small caps ETF. Yep, 5.4% right on the money there. Uh, VTI, which does include small caps as well, that had a 2.2% day. So you can see there, S&P had a 1.9% day. VTI had a 2.2% green day. That's because it has more exposure. It has well exposure to all the stocks out there, whereas S&P is only the 500 large caps, the biggest companies essentially, whereas VTI has the S&P as well, but small caps and large, uh, mid caps as well. So you guys can see that uh, outperformance in VTI, which is why actually for overall diversification, guys, if you're really looking to get the entire U.S. stock market, S&P is great. Don't get me wrong, guys. S&P is great. I love it. Uh, but I think having small caps and mid caps is very important as well. Uh, so I prefer VTI over something like VOO, but we're not going to debate that in this video. Both are great. I mean, if you're in either one, I mean, I think you're going to be great long term. Personally, I'm not telling you to buy or do anything. Not financial advice, but um, I think VTI, VOO, you can't go wrong. But we're nitpicking here, guys. We're nitpicking. I'm I'm nitpicking, right? And, uh, you know, if I, if I want an ETF for the long term, I want to bet on the U.S., I'm going VTI. I want small caps. I want mid caps. I want all that if I want to, you know, have a diversified ETF for the long term, set it and forget it, which is something that's very important to have, uh, you know, alongside of other investments you may have as well, right? Which we're not going to get into like individual stocks or, you know, real estate, whatever it may be. Uh, but yeah, VTI is great. That had a 2.2% green day today, which is awesome. Uh, Triple Q, of course, did very well. We covered this in the previous video. I mean, this is pretty much right by the highs now from, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, uh, August. It's crazy. Or July, mid-July, we hit 388 pretty much. We're at 385.30. We went up 2.1% on the day. So actually VTI outperformed triple Q as well, guys. Let me actually get a sip of water. Cheers, by the way. <clears throat> so that's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense because small caps again did very well today, but yeah, triple Q looks like it's about to break out of that high, which if we pull up the three year chart, now we can look at and, uh, we can look at this and be like, Oh, holy crap. This is a cup and handle. And now we're about $23 away from all-time highs. Not much at all, guys. Not much at all. 408 was the all-time high from December of 2021. So a good, um, you know, what, what, two years ago? Yeah, about two years ago now. So we're good. Let's see, 6% away, 6.5%, which all it takes is a couple more days at this rate of green out there, which I'm not calling for, obviously. I think we're a little bit stretched. I feel like we could be due for a pullback, uh, but... I don't know. It, it could tap the uh, high from August, then maybe see a pullback, then maybe break through a couple days later. I don't know. But at this point, momentum's clearly in the bull's favor. 
Everything is ripping for the most part. Obviously, there's red pockets every single day in the stock market, uh, but there weren't many of them today, guys. Let's just say that. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get your free stocks from Moomoo. Moo. Use that link down below. Open up your account and fund it with your initial $100 deposit. You get five stocks right off the bat, each up to $2,000, and you get a free share of SoFi stock as well. And again, that's just with a $100 deposit, and if you fund your account with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, each of those being valued up to $2,000 as well. And that gives you 16 stocks with a $1,000 deposit and six stocks with a $100 deposit. So use that link down below. And that is an affiliate link, guys. I appreciate you all as always, as that does help out the channel. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys later.